So our story today takes place sometime after the events of chapter 2, but we don't know how much time has gone by. We assume that it was more than a few days or maybe even more than a few weeks because it seems that Naomi has gotten over the worst of her depression. She is in much better spirits, and we come to believe this not only because of her change of heart in chapter 2, but also because her focus has shifted from herself over to Ruth. Naomi is no longer focused on her negative circumstances, but is now focused on improving Ruth's. And Naomi has now mentioned more than once, as we've read through you know, these passages, that Ruth, or that Boaz, is a close relative. He has been referred to as their family redeemer. And Boaz becomes their kinsman redeemer. What does that mean? What does it mean that he's their kinsman redeemer? Kinsman redeemer fulfilled one of many roles and responsibilities such as these. Redeeming a property so it stayed within the family and it wasn't lost to the family and absorbed by somebody else. They would help a family member who had fallen into debt and would help that indebted family member get out of debt in order to continue the family line. And so Naomi sends Ruth off to make this appeal to Boaz to redeem them and their family land. And he respected her because he respected the fact that she was still in mourning for, his, for her deceased husband. And he was just putting it out there the whole time, like, I know you're still in mourning, but... Which is one of the reasons why she felt so comfortable to come to him in the first place. Boaz and Ruth serve as an example to us, and that example is this is that a husband is an agent of God's kindness to his wife, and a wife is an agent of God's kindness to her husband. Boaz and Ruth show us what it means to be a man and what it means to be a woman. And if you recall earlier this year, you know, I talked about this at least a little bit when we were going through our series in Genesis Because when God made Adam go into a deep sleep, he removed one of his ribs. And from that rib, God fashioned the woman. Man and woman represent equal portions of God's image, the masculine and the feminine. Boaz and Ruth are examples of biblical masculinity and biblical femininity. Masculinity and femininity complement each other, but they are indeed different. Husbands and wives are meant to complement each other and are able to do so because of their different strengths and different weaknesses and how we are made differently in the image of God. Once upon a time, before God, you made a commitment to your spouse to do exactly that. Let me remind you of the promise you made. Will you be an agent of God's kindness to your spouse? The only acceptable answer to that question is, I do. And so, let's do. Pray with me. Lord Jesus, God, we thank you very much.